welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Teacher Pauline, and today I will be discussing about Vygotsky's Theory of Development. The work of Lev Vygotsky has become the foundation of much research and theory in cognitive development over the past several decades, particularly of what has become known as social development theory. Vygotsky's theories stress the fundamental role of social interaction in the development of cognition, as he believes strongly that community plays a central role in the process of making meaning. Unlike Piaget's notion that children's development must necessarily precede their learning, Vygotsky argued learning is a necessary and universal aspect of the process of developing culturally organized, specifically human psychological function. In other words, social learning tends to precede development. Vygotsky has developed a sociocultural approach to cognitive development. He developed his theories at around the same time as John Piaget was starting to develop his ideas, but he died at the age of 38, and so his theories are incomplete. Although some of his writings are still being translated from Russian, no single principle, such as Piaget's equilibration, can account for development. Individual development cannot be understood without reference to social and cultural context within which it is embedded. Higher mental processes in the individual have their origin in social processes. Vygotsky's theory differs from that of Piaget in a number of important ways. Vygotsky places more emphasis on culture affecting cognitive development. This contradicts Piaget's view of universal stages and content of development. Vygotsky does not refer to stages in the way that Piaget does. Hence, Vygotsky assumes cognitive development varies across cultures, whereas Piaget states cognitive development is mostly universal across cultures. Vygotsky places considerably more emphasis on social factors contributing to cognitive development. Vygotsky states cognitive development stems from social interactions from guided learning within the zone of proximal development as children and their partners co-construct knowledge. In contrast, Piaget maintains that cognitive development stems largely from independent explorations in which children construct knowledge of their own. For Vygotsky, the environment in which children grow up will influence how they think and what they think about. Vygotsky places more and different emphasis on the role of language in cognitive development. According to Piaget, language depends on thought for its development, such as thought comes before language. For Vygotsky, thought and language are initially separate systems from the beginning of life, merging at around three years of age, producing verbal thought or inner speech. For Vygotsky, cognitive development results from an internalization of language. According to Vygotsky, adults are an important source of cognitive development. Adults transmit their cultures tools of intellectual adaptation that children internalize. In contrast, Piaget emphasizes the importance of peers as peer interaction promotes social perspective taking. Effects of culture, tools of intellectual adaptation. Like Piaget, Vygotsky claimed that infants are born with the basic materials or abilities for intellectual development. Piaget focuses on motor reflexes and sensory abilities. Lev Vygotsky refers to elementary mental functions. Attention, sensation, perception, memory. Eventually, through the interaction within the sociocultural environment, 
These are developed into more sophisticated and effective mental processes or strategies which he refers to as higher mental functions. Vygotsky refers to tools for intellectual adaptation. This allows children to use the basic mental functions more effectively or adaptively. And these are culturally determined, such as memory mnemonics and mind maps. Vygotsky therefore sees cognitive functions, even those carried out alone, as affected by the beliefs, values and tools of intellectual adaptation of the culture in which a person develops and therefore socio-culturally determined. The tools of intellectual adaptation therefore vary from culture to culture. Social influences on cognitive development. Like P.J. Vygotsky believed that young children are curious and actively involved in their own learning and the discovery and development of new understandings or schema. However, Vygotsky placed more emphasis on social contributions to the process of development whereas P.J. emphasized self-initiated discovery. According to Vygotsky, much important learning by the child occurs through social interaction with a skillful tutor. The tutor may model behaviors and or provide verbal instructions for the child. Vygotsky refers to this as cooperative or collaborative dialogue. The child seeks to understand the actions or instructions provided by the tutor, often the parent or teacher then internalizes the information, using it to guide or regulate their own performance. Schaffer gives the example of a young girl who is given his first a jigsaw. Alone, she performs poorly in attempting to solve the puzzle. The father then sits with her and describes or demonstrates some basic strategies, such as finding all the corner or edge pieces and provides a couple of pieces for the child to put together herself and offers encouragement when she does so. As the child becomes more competent, the father allows the child to work more independently. According to Vygotsky, this type of social interaction involving cooperative or collaborative dialogue promotes cognitive development. In order to gain an understanding of Vygotsky's theories on cognitive development, one must understand two of the main principles of Vygotsky's work, the more knowledgeable other and the zone of proximal development. More knowledgeable other. The more knowledgeable other is somewhat self-explanatory. It refers to someone who has a better understanding or a higher ability level than the learner with respect to a particular task, process, or concept. Although the implication is that the MKO is a teacher or an older adult, this is not necessarily the case. Many times, a child's peers or an adult's children may be the individuals with more knowledge or experience. For example, who is more likely to know more about the newest teenage music groups, how to win at the most recent PlayStation game, or how to correctly perform the newest dance craze, a child or their parents. In fact, the MKO need not be a person at all. Some companies to support employees in their learning process are now using electronic performance support systems. Electronic tutors have also been used in educational settings to facilitate and guide students through the learning process. The key to MKOs is that they must have or be programmed with more knowledge about the topic being learned than the learner does. Zone of Proximal Development The concept of the more knowledgeable other is integrally related to the second important principle of Vygotsky's work the zone of proximal development. This is an important concept that relates to the difference between what a child can achieve independently and what a child can achieve with guidance and encouragement from a skilled partner. 
For example, the child could not solve the jigsaw puzzle by itself and would have taken a long time to do so, but was able to solve it following interaction with the father and has developed competence at this skill that will be applied to future jigsaws. Vygotsky sees the zone of proximal development as the area where the most sensitive instruction or guidance should be given, allowing the child to develop skills they will then use on their own, developing higher mental functions. Vygotsky also views interaction with peers as an effective way of developing skills and strategies. He suggests that teachers use cooperative learning exercises where less competent children develop with help from more skillful peers within the zone of proximal development. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.